Well, you asked for it and we're gonna give it to you. Another frequently asked question, and this time on the really popular Canon G1X Mark III. Stay tuned. All right, so we scoured the internets, we checked Amazon, eBay, even our customer service questions on what questions are most frequently asked about this incredible little pocket camera. So let's get right to it, starting with number one. Number one, how does the ISO compare with other similar cameras? Well, actually there are no other similar cameras because this is the world's first APS-C pocket camera. That's one of the main features of this, which is now the reason why it's become so popular. It's something you can throw in your pocket and it's an APS-C sensor with a built-in zoom. Now, this guy allows you to work for still images all the way up to 25,600. How can it do that? Well, it has their newest in processors, the Digic 7. And of course, it theoretically has the ATD uh, sensor built into it, so we know that that can actually work at high ISOs. It's a workhorse. And, of course, if you're doing video, which most of us will because this has become a very popular vlogging camera, you have the capability of working all the way up to 6400 ISO. Another question frequently asked about this camera is, of course, stabilization while recording video. It's actually really good because you have optical image stabilization built into this camera, so you have a 3x optical zoom with image stabilization. Now you have in the menu either off or continuous mode, which means it'll be working constantly, whether you're doing stills and of course your video, and then you have three different settings. You have dynamic IS, where you have low standard and high capability image stabilization. Can you set the control ring around the lens to set your aperture value? Yes, and so much more. You can do aperture value, time value, you can do ISO, you can do white balance, you can do stepless zoom, you can do uh, manual focus. I mean, it has endless possibilities. It does have an end to the possibilities, but it allows you to do so much more by just turning that dial ring. So yes, you can configure it to a lot of the more popular uses in overwrite capabilities. Does the G1X Mark III allow me to do panoramic shooting in the camera and then stitch all the images together? Yes, this is actually one of the first in the PowerShot series that allows you to do that very seamlessly without having to do any post-production work. It'll actually do it in camera and show you the end result. Another popular question that we get on this camera is does the camera have a built-in ND filter? Yes, it does. I mean, it is a very small filter thread size, so I'm sure you can find some out there. But guess what? This has it built in. Now you have two options. On auto, the camera will automatically use the ND filter or turn it off depending on the need. And on manual, you have the capability of turning it on or off. That's the two settings for your built-in ND filter. Another popular question on the Canon G1X Mark III is, how many frames can I shoot before the camera begins to buffer in either JPEG or RAW? Well, in JPEG mode, you can shoot at burst mode, which is roughly about 9 frames per second, all the way to 24 frames before it begins to buffer on you. And if you like shooting in the RAW, like a lot of us do, you can shoot up to 19 frames at, again, roughly 9 frames per second in RAW mode. So if you are an action shooter, this camera is going to fit the bill. Plus, again, it's something that you can take with you everywhere. That's the added benefit of the G1X Mark III. Another very popular question is, how do I program the C1 and the C2 settings on the dial for my G1X Mark III? It's very simple to do. First thing you do is turn on your camera and you set all the settings that you prefer, the white balance that you like, the ISO, shutter speed, anything that works for your heart's content. Now you're going to press the menu button and you're gonna scroll all the way over to the settings mode, that's the one with the little wrench, and you go to the fifth folder. Scroll down to where it says custom settings and you're going to register it. When you press that button and you set it to register, it saves all those settings. And then, as an added benefit, you can actually update it 
by doing the update setting. That means that if you change any settings, it will automatically update it to your C1 or your C2 mode that you're shooting in. So it makes it very simple to customize this camera so you don't have to sit there and be doing settings all the time. You can have two settings on your dial, C1 and C2, and they can be fully programmable to your liking. Can I connect my favorite phone or tablet to my G1X Mark III? Absolutely. Canon has been ongoing with all their cameras now have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even NFC. Now, you're going to have to go to your favorite app store and download the Canon Camera Connect app. And once you have that on your favorite phone or tablet, then you can go through the steps. The initial setup is going to take you a couple of minutes, but then afterwards it works very seamlessly because it has a button on the side that does the instant connect. And if you're an Android user, you can also take advantage of the NFC connector on the bottom. So it makes it very simple to connect your camera. It allows you to control it. You can do your zooming, your exposure, and you can switch from controlling the camera and also to transfer your favorite JPEG images onto your existing smartphone or tablet. Very simple to do. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up. Okay, so we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into the menu to Wi-Fi connection and then you want to give it a nickname. Scroll over to where it says smartphone, click on that and then add a device. So now it's going to search for the tablet and I'm going to go to my iPad Pro and go into settings and I'm going to activate the Wi-Fi. So now it's going to look for the actual camera as a Wi-Fi connection. There it is. Now it's going to say you need a password and notice the password is being displayed on the actual screen of the camera. So you're going to enter the password. Once you do this, this is going to be much easier to connect from now on. So now you enter the password and it's being connected to it so it will connect with the Wi-Fi on the camera and it wants you to actually activate it on the camera. So now we're going to go to the Camera Connect app and it's telling you to turn on your Bluetooth so you have to allow all that. Plus you have to click onto the one that tells you the model of the camera. There it is, G1X Mark III. Now it's actually looking for it and you are going to actually have to pick on the camera the device so you can allow to connect to it. And there it is. We now have a secure connection right with my iPad Pro so that I can use that as my main screen to control the camera. Now notice how I'm going to click on it and this is now going to become my monitor to control the camera. It's synchronizing and there you have it. Now I have full control over zoom and exposure. So notice how I can actually zoom in and out because it is a powered zoom system. So you can actually control your zooming, your exposure, and your focusing from the convenience of your favorite tablet or smartphone. So how does the hybrid movie mode work on this? Well, very well. It's been a feature in a lot of PowerShot cameras for many years. All you do is set the dial to the little film strip with the A, and then what it does, it actually records video, and when you depress the shutter, it takes a still and it combines it seamlessly to give you basically like a trailer. So you can create your favorite event in video and stills seamlessly right in the camera with the G1X Mark III setting it to the hybrid movie mode. Well, thank you for staying to the end. This is the last of our frequently asked questions on the Canon G1X Mark III. It's an important one too. Now, can I control my focusing points while recording video from my smartphone or tablet? And yes, you can. But of course, it's going to entail, like I answered in a previous question, you have to download the Canon Camera Connect app onto your favorite smartphone or tablet. You gotta uh, set up the Wi-Fi connection. And once you have all that done, which is actually very simple and I showed you in a previous question, you're now going to set it to record video and you're gonna be able to touch on the screen on your tablet or smartphone where you want it to maintain its focus, just like if you were doing it on the camera. As always, if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials, frequently asked questions, and unboxings. And if you're visiting the Miami area, don't forget to come by and say hello at the Digital Goja showrooms. Happy shooting.